you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Preeti and I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty vlogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free and I also cover vegan beauty and lifestyle tips. If this is the kind of content that you might enjoy, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I put up a video and keep watching this video. So today's video is not a review video. I'm not going to review any skincare, beauty, makeup, nothing. I'm going to talk about a few things that you need to keep in mind during this whole situation when we're wearing the face mask now I wanted to make this video a while ago you guys but I thought that the situation would be controlled and you know we wouldn't have to be wearing masks for so long but um, seems like we have to be wearing these masks for some time so I thought this video is going to be really relevant right now so last month I spoke to you guys on my insta stories where I mentioned that my skin is breaking out quite a lot because of wearing the mask and I thought maybe I was exaggerating but then I got in touch with my doormat and I uh, spoke to two of my doormats and I also looked up I did like a whole research online and I found out that masks you know wearing the mask throughout the day can actually aggravate your acne situation and I was breaking out all over my chin all over my jaws my nose my lip it, like around my lips or on my cheeks and this isn't cystic acne it's not hormonal it was just tiny bumps all over my skin like tiny pus pimples and they weren't painful but they were just so ugly and something that I haven't experienced in years. A lot of you who follow me on Instagram also know that I've been fostering a kitten and it's been two weeks today. It's been two weeks that she's with us, uh, with me and my cat. And um, I've been going in and out of the wet clinics quite a bit. I've been um, feeding my kitten, taking care of her. So yes, bacterial infection, all of that can trigger acne. Even if you're washing your hands, it does happen. But this was really weird and I just didn't know what to think about this. So when I spoke to my doormat, and I did my research, I compiled a list of tips that actually helped me out. So right now I have no acne. I do have a little bit of scarring. This is cystic, this is cystic acne, but I don't have any bumps right now on my face like three weeks ago or like four weeks ago. So these bunch of tips will really help you out when you're wearing your mask in your everyday, be it if you're working in the front line or if you're going grocery shopping or like me going to the wet with your pet. Um, keep these tips in mind so that even if you don't have acne prone skin, you can keep any sort of acne outburst at bay. Again, these are all the recommendations based on what my doormats have suggested for me and also based on what I've read online. I am not a dermatologist. I am not an aesthetician. This is a disclaimer. These are tips that will help you because they helped me. Okay, and this is just basic hygiene tips. So no fuss. You don't have to go overboard with using any product specifically. It's just recommendations. All right, so let's jump into these. First thing first is using a cotton face mask, okay? So if you're using reusable face masks, make sure that they're cotton so that your sweat can absorb easily. It's a more breathable fabric. If you're using one of the masks that are not reusable, make sure that the inside of the mask has a cotton lining so that it doesn't rub against your skin. It needs to be more breathable, you guys. So this is a very important point. Keep in mind that it should be a cotton mask if it's reusable. If it's not reusable, make sure that the insides have a cotton lining. Synthetic fabric can be really irritating for your skin, so make sure you're not sticking to synthetic fabric, plastic or whatnot. Cotton is the way to go. Also, the reason why I'm mentioning you need to use a cotton face mask is because, you know, you guys, sweat is an irritant. Sweat is supposed to leave your body evaporate, but when it sits on your skin, it's just sitting. It's um, with the sebum, with the dirt, it's just blocking your pores and that causes more acne outbursts. So it's important to let your skin breathe. Normally when we don't have a face mask, your skin is breathing nicely. You know, the, the perspiration, the sweat is evaporating. You don't have to worry about a thing. But with the mask, all of that gets blocked to a huge extent. And that's why we tend to break up more because there's so much of humidity, you know, and cotton is a more breathable fabric. So that's why you should go for that. Next tip is if you're using a reusable mask, make sure that when you come back home, you wash that mask and this will prevent, of course, the spread of any infections, but also it's not going to break you out around your skin because the mask has absorbed your, your sweat, you know, sebum from your face and you don't want to put that back on your face, which will give you all those pimples. So be sure to wash your mask. Keep a bunch of reusable masks, you know, not just one so that you, you have one for the next day when the other one isn't washed. Next tip is really simple. It's a no brainer. Don't keep touching your face. It's the first thing you do um, to prevent any infection spreads on your face. Don't touch your face. Just like you would when you have, you know, um, any acne situation, you don't keep touching your face, right? So I understand you have a mask on, but just don't keep adjusting it. One thing is that, of course, you're gonna spread infection from your palms and your fingers. The second thing is the mask is gonna cause friction on your face. And this is gonna irritate the first layer of your face and inflame your face and give you like 
rashes or give you blemishes. So don't keep touching your face and always readjusting your mask. That's going to be um, very troublesome. I know it's easier said than done, but be a little conscious of when you're touching your face and your mask, okay? You don't want spread of infections and you don't want friction. You don't want pimples popping out of nowhere. The next thing that you need to do is use a good moisturizer um, based on your skin type. So if you have oily, acne prone combination skin, similar to mine, use a gel based moisturizer during the day and at night use a more thicker moisturizer and I'll tell you why. So when you have a mask on, it's constantly going to move against your jaw. It's going to create friction. It's going to compromise your skin barrier. You know, your upper layer of your skin is going to compromise that because it's constantly rubbing. It's going to irritate it. This in turn can also cause moisture loss because now your upper layer of your skin is compromised because of the constant friction and now your skin is more susceptible to infection. So moisturizing your skin is going to help improve your skin barrier. So use products that have hyaluronic acid, you know, gel based, uh, thick creams at night that have um, hemp seed oil. They're very nice for your face. I'm going to leave a few product recommendations for gel and for thicker creams that you can use on your face at night so daytime and nighttime i'm going to leave the links down below that you can refer to in case you want to buy those because those are the ones that i'm currently using so make sure that you're moisturizing your skin you guys you don't want to compromise your skin barrier it's going to make it more susceptible to infections more susceptible to rashes pimples and whatnot so moisturization is key another important thing is make sure that your skincare routine is very simple so follow the basic cleanse tone moisturize don't go in with like AHAs and BHAs, especially when you're stepping up, because this whole area, you guys, is going to be covered. And that's going to be sitting in humidity, heat, and it's going to make your whole condition a whole lot worse because it's going to be a hot, greasy mess. So keep it simple, you guys. Use a soap-free cleanser so it's not too rough on your skin, doesn't compromise your skin barrier. Use a nice toner that works for your skin type and also use a gel based moisturizer that really works. Also stay away from facial oils because they have a lot of essential oils that in this current situation might not work for you. I love facial oils but if you're stepping out and you have a mask on you, the whole heat can aggravate the situation and you don't want that especially when it's with facial oils, essential oils, carrier oils and whatnot. So keep it really simple. Cleanse, tone, moisturize and that's it. Of course, you can also use your sunscreen at this step, but just make sure that the sunscreen is not too heavy. Go for a gel-based uh, sunscreen because that's not going to be too heavy on your face. Now, when it comes to makeup, a lot of people think that it's okay to wear makeup with your mask. It's not okay, you guys. Makeup is an irritant to some extent, and if it's going to sit on your face and you have a face mask on, it's just going to sit there and cook, like literally sweat it out and it's all hot. It's all humid and it's all over the place. It's just going to block all your pores. Even a basic lipstick, you guys, it's just going to melt and it's going to go on the sides of your mouth and just give you acne. And that's what I was doing. I was wearing a fancy lip tint and a lip balm and, you know, wear my mask and go to the vet's clinic with my foster kitten. And I was just breaking out and I was like, I'm not wearing any makeup. Why am I breaking out? And that's when my dermat told me that, you know, your lipstick is melting and going around the areas of your mouth. And when you have your face mask, it's causing irritation. So keep it simple. No makeup at all. Stick to basic sunscreen. Maybe do an eyeliner if you really want to do something and draw your eyebrows if you really have to. And use a very basic non-greasy lip balm that's not something like a nighttime sleeping cream that's going to be really thick. Very simple, no fuss lip balm. That's it. And if you can avoid lip balm, try avoiding that too, if you can. Now, don't wash your face frequently, okay? This is the next tip. We think, oh my God, you know, we need to clean our face. We don't want any germs. And instead we go in and we go ham. We wash it so many times that now we've compromised our skin barrier because you're constantly washing it. Your pH levels have gone for a toss. Don't do that. Use a very gentle face cleanser. Mostly soap-free works the best in your daytime and nighttime. When you step out and once you come back home, when you do your skincare, that's it. You don't have to keep washing your face with a cleanser every now and then just wash it with water if you have to that's it don't compromise your skin barrier because right now with the face mask it's already being threatened your skin barrier is already being threatened you don't want to go and irritate it some more it's not fair to your skin and it's just going to irritate it guys so be a little mindful with the practices that you follow with your basic hygiene as well next tip is to make sure that you are cleaning all your spatulas all your products with cleaning alcohol rubbing alcohol so that you don't have any infections on the outer packaging of the products as well that you take in with your palms okay be sure to disinfect all your products every single day especially if you step out very often maybe for work or 
grocery station or anything, you know, if you're feeding the strays in your area and that's your duty, you step out every single day. Be sure to clean all your products with rubbing alcohol. I cannot emphasize on how important this is. Be it a spatula that you use for dipping into your eye creams and your face creams, but whatever it is, be sure to sanitize the hell out of them, please. Now, if you feel that your pores are really clogged up, maybe you can go in with an AHA, BHA peel, if you really have to, once a month, just to like give you a little bit of exfoliation because you know your skin is gonna be really sensitive now because of the face mask and if you're gonna use a lot of AHAs in your routine, it can further damage your skin. So keep it to once a month where you're gonna use an AHA, BHA peel or even an AHA toner for that matter where um, it just, removes all the dead skin. So make sure that you use it just once a month so that, you know, if you have any dead skin pile up, it just cleans it and in turn doesn't compromise your skin. Um, don't go ham with actives, especially if you're wearing your face mask every single day or every other day. Right now, not a good time to do that. The next tip is, again, a very basic tip. Don't go and squeeze your pimples or pop them out, as is with any acne situation. What happens in this process is it irritates the skin around that area and it's gonna cause further pimples. So when you have a face mask on, anyway, it's gonna keep rubbing against that pimple and irritate the skin around that area. You can't really help it, right? What are you gonna do? So don't aggravate that situation further by going ahead and popping it because it's in turn going to spread infection. No matter how fast you clean it up with the tissue, it has already spread the infection. And it's also gonna leave scars on your face and you don't want that, you know? Um, hyperpigmentation, post-acne pigmentation can easily be fixed by laser treatments or by topical creams. But scarring is a huge problem, especially when we go ham with poking our pimples. So be sure to not poke your pimples. You don't want any scarring. It's going to be added expense for you to go fix it with laser. And also, it's still permanent. Laser will diminish it to some extent, but cannot eliminate it completely unless you want to get a plastic surgery or whatnot, which I don't think you want to do just for simple acne scarring, right? So be a little careful, okay? Don't pop your pimples regardless of wearing a mask or not. Just don't pop them, okay? The next tip is about spot treating the acne outbursts that you have. Make sure that you spot treat them, you guys, and don't use it all over your face because it's going to dry it further. So use a salicylic acid-based um, cream, topical cream. Benzoyl peroxide works really well too. I'm going to leave a few recommendations in the description. Those work really, really well. Only as creams, topical creams on the spots, not on the whole face. Again, you don't want to compromise your skin barrier. The next thing is for people who enjoy steaming their face. First of all, steaming the face is not the best thing to do. Maybe you can do it once a month, but you don't really have to steam your face because it's moisture loss. Yes, the pores feel a little more opened up and you know um, you can see the gunk coming out. Now that's great, but just use a chemical exfoliator. Why would you wanna go and steam your face, cause further moisture loss, aggravate your situation with your skin? It's just not needed. So if you are somebody who really enjoys steaming their face you know, with the steamer, don't do that right now because your, your face is already a sauna with the face mask. It's already a lot of moisture loss. And when you go in with a steam every week or every other day, you're further aggravating the situation and you don't want that. I cannot emphasize on how important it is to stop steaming your face. I have sinusitis. I steam my face and I make sure I cover this area or I just use the one where it's only on my nose and my mouth not on my whole face because I don't want to aggravate the situation on my face. Why are we forcing moisture loss ourselves? That just doesn't make any sense, you know? Your skin needs the hydration, it needs the, the boost of moisturization, so be sure to um, not steam your face. I know if you like it, it's gonna be difficult, but during the situation, it's best to not use a steamer for your face. The next tip is to sleep well. And I know it's easier said than done. A lot of us are battling anxiety with the whole situation, but Try using chamomile tea, lavender essential oils under your ear. Um, play some good music that helps you sleep. Try meditation. You know, you need to induce good sleep so that your body recovers better when you're sleeping. This will not only help you with your acne situation, but it's also going to make sure that you feel less stressed. And stress is also a key factor in the whole situation with acne outbursts. So this brings us to stress. The next tip, be sure to not be stressed. Such an empty advice. I could hear it while I said it. <laughs> But I know, I know it's difficult, guys. It's such a stressful environment. I know I feel you. I have anxiety myself. And I've been doing a bunch of anxiety relief tips on Instagram. If you want to follow me there, please do. I have a lot of helpful tips. I'm going to make a video on that on Instagram, um, on YouTube for you guys too. So that will be helpful for you. Be sure to recognize the triggers for your stress. And as much as possible, try to look at the positive. Easier said than done. Empty advice. I know it. 
but you need to stick to some positive so that you're not overstressing your brain. We already have so much stress around us that we need to train our brain to take it easy when we are home so that we allow ourselves to breathe and allow ourselves to not be stressed so that you can absorb information, um, be by yourself, be with your family and enjoy those little moments. So try not being stressed. Do things that will divert your mind. Adult coloring books with mandalas, um, meditation, gardening, singing, spending time with your pets, spending time with your family, fun games, cooking, you know, all of these are really therapeutic and they really help you overcome stress and anxiety. So try them out. Try how much ever you can to not overthink and let things go, go with the flow. Next tip is water intake. Be sure that you're consuming enough water, you guys, because you know, you're gonna be sweating a lot. It's gonna be a lot of moisture loss from your skin and then that stuff is gonna just sit on your face. This is one of the most important tips for good health in general and good skin drinking enough water. Make sure you drink at least a minimum of three to four liters of water every single day. Of course, you increase this by a margin if you're gonna be sweating it out quite a bit outside, but in general, three to four liters is a good thing. The next tip is nutrition. Try to reduce your meat intake right now because it's going to aggravate your acne situation. Dairy, because dairy inflames your skin. If you're vegan like me, good on you, you're already on the right path. But if you aren't vegan, it's a good idea to switch to a more plant-based diet reduce dairy, reduce sugar, and this will help control the acne on your skin as well. Along with that, be sure to take all your multivitamins. Be sure to pump up on your vitamin C, A, B, D. Try taking vitamin E to improve your skin and your muscle health. Obviously, check with your dermatologist, check with your doctor to help you with the perfect prescription for your vitamins, okay? Just don't take them by yourself. And if you are taking them by yourself, just send a photo to your doctor so that they can tell you yes or no for these particular vitamins based on your health reports. It's really important to boost your immunity right now because you don't wanna fall sick. That's the last thing you want right now. So be sure to pump up on your vitamins so that your immunity is boosted, not just to avoid any infection or disease, but also to improve your skin health. So if you have acne prone skin, the first thing you need to do is improve your vitamin C intake. Start taking vitamin C supplements because we can't eat six oranges every day. I mean, it's not that easy. So just take a supplement, it's always better. And that's about it, you guys. I hope these tips are helpful for you. Ever since I put up those stories on Instagram, a lot of you guys messaged me on this. So I thought, why not make this video considering we're gonna be wearing face masks, unfortunately, for some time. So be sure to follow these tips and let me know how they help you out as well. If you are following these, you know, you can tag me on Instagram and I'd love to get in touch with you. I hope these tips help you out, you guys, because right now we should take care of our body. Taking care of your body, your skin, your face, your family is self-respect and you need to take care of yourselves. I hope you found this useful, you guys. If you liked this video, please like, comment below telling me which tips are you going to be following and how you're going to implement them in your lifestyle. And also while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all of my previous videos right here. I will catch you guys in my next videos. And if you're on Instagram, follow me there. Take care of your skin, take care of yourself. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Peace. Ciao.